on our European climbing trip, we knew we would be driving through the south of France. We've heard people refer to the Verdun River Gorge as the Yosemite of France, so naturally we had to check it out. From the first views, we could understand the comparisons. The Verdun is known for long committing routes where the only way out is up. We only had one day to climb in the Verdun, and we had planned to get an early start. However, it didn't exactly go that way. Brittany washed all of her clothes the night before without realizing there was no dryer. So we woke up with an added challenge. Not very dry. We're really pulling out all the stops. How's it going in here? Due to our late start, we decided to pick a little bit more mellow of an objective. I'm a little nervous because we have a chance of rain at three and four, and the only way out of the gorge is up. It's gonna be like 10.30, 10.45 before we start, and we have like five or 600 feet to climb, but we have to repel it all first. So. Wah, wah, wah. Should be exciting. It's okay, I got the the resident beta from a bar chef and owner operator last night who was definitely drinking on the job. So I feel like I've got all the beta we could possibly need. <laughs> We're racking up. I'm gonna my TCs, but not much else. They have one quick draw and a gree gree. So I've only got 10 quick draws, five, seven alpine draws. So it's a light day out here. We're feeling light. I have wet clothes, so it's cold. My clothes are dry and I feel great. Not a care in the world. At least my clothes <clears throat> are clean. Mine certainly aren't clean, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause I got dirty shoes too. But guess what we do have? Oh, afternoon carbonara. Got to make it to the car first, though. We're here at Belvedere de la Creve. Which means fish of the day. I don't know if that's what it means. We are walking 200 meters based on the bar keeps description, looking for a platform with two fat chains on it. And this is where we find a fat platform with two chains, it says, that I agree, says, all right. Done doubting me, step one? I'm not doubting you, I'm just nervous. Those of you out there who think I'm a wuss, I'm not. I don't, I'm not scared of repelling, but I am a little nervous because everything except for one mountain project comment says our rope won't be long enough. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> Worst case, it's five, six. We hope, we think. And we can climb out. That looks like five, six. Goodbye, rope. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Repel number two. Number two. So what we're gonna climb is gonna come like up on the inside of this, and then I think like maybe slightly over and up that. Left, hard left. Yeah, this is easily gonna do it. I mean, there's one 35 meter one, but other than that, like you're chilling. Repel completed. Knots are undone. We are at the base trying to figure out which route it is. Fortunately, we know that Atu Koer is two down, and Oklokos is one down. That must mean we're that bolt line. Susepe. Susepe. And it looks sick, like some orange and blue limestone. So we're psyched. Sweet. Let's do this. We got the rain forecast in two and a half, three hours, so we climb with pace. Wow, these 
are some wild features already. Hard to know where to go though. Yeah, I think it's just like a weird style. But it is very cool. That was certainly no fall territory. That was a major deck. <laughs> well, this shit's tight. Okay. This feels like 5'11", honestly. It's certainly full value 5'10". At that. The rock looks fragile, but everything I've touched has just been bomber. So, especially on top rope, unless it's a big looking flake that's gonna come on you, I would just go for it. I did not love the first pitch. It, it takes a minute to get used to the style of climbing for sure. Um, so I was not like super psyched after the first pitch, but someone convinced me to keep going. That first pitch was wild. Traversing some jugs, some finger pockets, some small feet, some sharp feet, some pointy feet, all sorts of shit. But it is just sick out here. Absolutely sick. We're loving it. A lot more to go. I'm honestly not entirely sure. I think I want to be further on the right one, actually.
second to third pitch was tight. We linked them. Pretty sheer rock at this point. Still some bushes, but I think that's just the name of the game. It is thundering. That is what you're hearing. second pitch was pretty cool. I really liked the middle of it. There was a lot of pockets. Yep, it's pretty slabby. Just try to keep the weight on your feet. <laughs> and weird right. stemming, oh. weird underclings, but it was fun. Is that a dihedral? We were in a dihedral. So I'm like stemming in this corner, okay? At almost every belay, we had wonderful views of gigantic griffin vultures whose wingspan can easily top nine feet wide. Yeah, that pillar was tight, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I was a bit bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Because when the pitch started, there was a ton of jugs, and I was like, oh, like, I wonder if it's just gonna be like this the whole time. And then I got into the jugs, and I'm like, mm, not as good as I thought. And then I got up higher, and I look over, and there's a pillar with nothing on it. And I'm like, how am I gonna climb that? Yeah. And then I like, well, when I started, the pillar was here and I was like over on this side and I saw your jaw like here and I was like, oh gosh, so I had to maneuver like all the way around the pillar mm -hmm. with like one jug, I guess, yeah. into like another. And then I went up from there and I did it. Yeah. But it was pretty like, um, blank. Yeah, it Unless was. you found the right holes of the right feet. Totally. Yeah. Oh, that was sick.
The last pitch is fantastic. Just glorious jugs, long reaches, and clean rock until you get to the last 10 feet. Then as most summits, it begins to get a bit more crumbly. Hell yeah. Brittany, off play! <laughs> and we're just beating the storm in. You can see clouds coming here. It looks gray over there. How was it? Uh -huh. It was good. <laughs> this pitch was really fun. I didn't think I was going to send it, although that's still up for debate because I was following. That was oh, fun. Yeah. Good job. And it was harder than we thought it was going to be. 1976, 6 B plus. It was sick. <laughs> well, you know what time it is? Pasta. We finished the climbing for the day, and now is the time for the reward. Water. Carbonara. In hindsight, the Verdon is absolutely worth a visit. With over 3,000 roots, and many of them on high quality, beautiful orange and blue limestone, there's no reason not to check it out.